and the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin, even though starters are important, those great sixth men have been the key to so many championship teams. Think about the likes of Andre Iguodala, Manu Ginobili, Lamar Odom. And still, with some, there's a stigma to coming off the bench. Iguodala said it's ingrained early, but in particular, he said, in the NBA, it's, I need to get paid like a starter. Guys, that's a sacrifice that not many are willing to line up for. David Aldridge, thank you. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. We take a look at the Hawks. Here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And of course, the Knicks, three games behind. And you know, right now for Atlanta, they've had an impact on the league already this year. You always hear talk about the power rankings in the NBA, and they're climbing that list in a hurry. A surprise to most outside observers, but internally, they had confidence coming into this season. Now we know why. So the New York starting five, Knox and Randall, they're the forwards. Fred Van Vliet out there with Barrett, and it's Robinson in at the center position. And for Atlanta, Herter the two with Hunter at the three. Collins is out there with Clint Cabello, and it's Young in at the point. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Pass to Barrett. Here's Knox. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me hearken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacey Arden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And for a long time, Atlanta had been searching for a legitimate center. Seems like they found their guy in Clint Capella. Yes, and Clint Capella is limited offensively, but that's not his job. What Clint Capella does do, he does very well. He's a terrific rebounder, and he will have a lot of room to finish at the rim, as he does with power. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. And a physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randle. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it. Able to move and attack in transition. Hunter dishes to Young. Shoots the three. Good on the triple. Young's got the first bucket of the night. A three-pointer for the Hawks. He's calm. He's confident. Young has that it factor. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power driver, isn't he, Greg? And the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kevin. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gaps. Count that one from Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet is staying locked in. He's confident going to the floater when given the chance. Herter passes to Young. It's rebounded by Barrett. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Now, here's Hunter. Barrett covering. Six to shoot. Robinson with the block. Barrett against Capella. Barrett, no good. Atlanta's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Hunter, that one goes in. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Knicks trail by three. Here's Van Vliet. And he takes that one up and powers it through. 
Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landing in. He wanted to make a statement. Now, here is Young. He had 31 points in the win again. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. And here's Collins from outside. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Barrett kicks to Van Vliet. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Love the strength on that drive by Fred Van Vliet. He is tough and he's aggressive. Young with the ball. Robinson picks him up. Young's shot is good. So for New York, their last game, a win against Charlotte. And here is Van Vliet. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. And Young gets to Collins. Back to Young. From deep. Robinson pulls it in. The Knicks have gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Here's Knox. That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Hunter with it. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. On its way from Young for two. And Atlanta again with the bucket. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Pass to Knox. Here's Robinson. Passes it to Van Vliet. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Fred Van Vliet, a weapon from the outside, has a great shot that he can pull up at a moment's notice. He's consistent on catch and shoots as well as off the dribble. Throw good, Van Vliet. And with Van Vliet, about half of his shots are from deep. <laughs> You're right, G.A. That's the number one part of his offense, of his game right now. He can shoot it deep, but he also can drive it. He shoots a low field goal percentage from those shots because of the distance. But I love Fred Van Vliet. He knows how to play. Here's Knox. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game up there for Collins. Hammers the alley-oop through. One of the best young lob men in the business. John Collins finished with an explanation point. Down low. Here's Robinson. No good there. Good work defensively by Capella. Young inside. Covered by Van Vliet. Collins passes to Capella. Capella controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Van Vliet. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Charlotte. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. Herder passes to Young. Puts up a three. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team.
Suggs and a completely new group on the floor. And a new group in for the Knicks. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Bobby Portis comes in for Julius Randle. Joe Harris is checked in for Kevin Knox. And it's Drogic in for Fred Van Vliet. And Jones sends it back. Nice shot by Portis. The Hawks leading by three. Here's Berea. Floats one. Jones goes up and lays it nice and easy. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Outside Dragic. Outside Harris. With a floater. That one no good. Atlanta's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. At the elbow, it's Reddish. Feeds it to Jones. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And it's a seven point Hawks lead. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Trogic finds Harris. That's in coming off an assist from Trogic. Yes, Beautiful vision to find the open man. Gorn leading by example. Moutier passes to Jones. Back to Moutier. There's the feed to Reddish. Gasol with the steal. And it's blocked. Now Anthony. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Berea kicks to Anthony. Gasol against Jones. And it's slammed in by Jones. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you've got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Here's Berea after the made shot from Goran Dragic. And dish dishes to Carmelo. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Bounce pass, Dragic. To the middle. Reverses. He lays it in. Absorbing the contact. Finishing the play. Dragic has that great body control. Berea finds Anthony. Again, the Hawks. Good for two. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. Dragic, the pass to Barrett. Back to Dragic. Here's Gasol. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's Anthony. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Anthony's got his third basket of the night. Knicks trail by seven. Harris looking it over. Here's Barrett. Second shot opportunity. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first. The layup missed. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist from Moutier. And it's a nine-point Hawks lead. Yeah, just superb focus there from Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. The pass to Gasol. Five to shoot. Barrett, terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. The big fella loves to pass. Mark Gasol with the vision and court awareness to do it from anywhere on the floor. Pass to Berea. Shoots over Dragic. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Atlanta Hawks. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Earlier on, we ran into Bobby Portis to explain the origin of the underdog label. You know, I think the underdog story, you know, started when I was a kid. Uh, you know, 
always been a guy that's always been picked second, um, even though I had you know, high accolades in high school and I had to work for those really, really hard to get those. I feel like nobody really ever believes in, you know, none of the things I do. Um, you know, even if I have a good season, you know, to me it was a good season, but somebody else it wasn't, it wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. And Greg playing with the chip on his shoulder has served Portis well. Some guys try to block out the haters. Portis uses it as fuel to keep achieving more. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Hawks guys, what stands out to you stats-wise? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. And that has helped them build an advantage here. Playing with good focus and good energy. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. R.J. Barrett is out there with Dragic. Then there's Bobby Portis. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's Gasol at its center. Now here's Moutier. His last outing, 16 points for him. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Dragic. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. For Atlanta, they have missed both free throws they've attempted tonight. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul lines, knocking down 80%. First one falls for him. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Jones. Collins comes in for Anthony. Hunter's checked in for Reddish. And Trey Young subbed in for J.J. Barea. All free throws good for Moody. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Knicks. Seven-point differential. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Now, here is Young. 12 points for him. Pass to Hunter. Capella with it. Guarded by Robinson. Here's Knox. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. For Anthony Edwards, tragedy struck when he was in the eighth grade. That's when he lost both his mother and grandmother to cancer. And the importance of family is what led him to stay close in college at Georgia. He said, playing with your state to your chest, family in the crowd, was a dream come true. And guys, he hopes to inspire other ATLians to stay home and grind. What an inspiring story. David, thank you so much for that. Still looking for improvement from the line. Randall could pick up a couple extra points a game if he did. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Moody. Both free throws, good from Randall. The Hawks leading by three. This is it to Young. Now Capella. Young inside. He's guarded by Dragic. Young, no good. For New York, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Hawks have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. It's Young on the wing. Back to Herter. Pocket six. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And Kevin Herter, a young player and a big part of this team's future. He keeps trying to add to his game. And the area I love that he's improved, I think the most and needs to, is his ball handling. Doesn't have to only look for shots outside. He can attack the rim. 
he's also is more willing to take the lead and transition and create for others. And the Hawks with possession here after the miss from Goran Dragic. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Well, spending so much time in the paint, Randall has to hit a lot of contested shots. Now, here is Young. 12 points for him. Yep, that one goes in there. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotation, but it's worth it. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Goran Dragic last season coming off the bench for the first time in his eight years in the league really excelled in that six-man role. He did. He's a guy a who creates his Take own offense. Two He's shots. also a guy who can organize the reserves and keep things flowing. All about finding ways to continue to flourish. And he did it. The first one falls. Well, he was a champion in Italy. We see what Dragic has done in the NBA. He's had a solid career, and he's still evolving. Both free throws good from Dragic. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Lobbed up there for Cohen. An emphatic LU jam. Coming out of screen and roll, Collins shows great body control and flexibility as an athlete. Bounce pass Robinson. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Young's shot is good. He sees the whole floor, and he's making some quick decisions. Trey Young gets what he wants from the mid-range. Why gets the pass to Robinson? And here's Randall. He's guarded by Collins. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Russia. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Break too early to start talking about uh, MVP for this year. We're midseason. You know, we've gotten to a point now where we start talking MVP at the start of the season. You know, yeah, right. people just love to talk sports at this point, especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual awards out there. Uh, I think you can make a case and sway some opinions with your play this time of year, but uh, I like to let it all play out before I start focusing on that. Things can change in a hurry, can't they, in a season? You yes, like they you can. Like you say, let it play out. Shots good from Young. Scouting report is be physical with Trey Young, and every night he finds ways to still make plays. Now, here is Robinson. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Charlotte. He owned the glass in that one, too. No one could put a body on him. Shot clock at six. Steps back and fires. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Atlanta leading by six. To the paint. Here's Herter. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got three assists tonight. This is where Herter's toughness comes into play. Inside against physical D. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 11. Back to Knox. From 16 feet away, he cans it. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. And Young kicks to Collins. And he uses the glass on the late. Collins has got six. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Knox the pass to Randall. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. This is what happens when Fred gets into a rhythm. His whole offensive game rises to another level. The Knicks have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Harris has checked in for Goran Dragic. always been a tremendous defender in my opinion and he knows he's going to knock down his free throws but now Fred Van Vliet 
has emerged as a terrific all-around scorer. He can pretty much do it all. Now, here is Young. He's got 18. Now, here is Robinson. Here is outside. Now the dish to Randall. Over Collins. New York, no good that time either. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Damian Jones is jacked in for Clint Capella. And Carmelo Anthony has subbed in for DeAndre Hunter. Then for the Knicks, Marcus Gasol has checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Bobby Portis comes in for Julius Randle. And Barrett subbed in for Knox. It's very interesting. Kevin Herter projects to be a shooter, but he's so inconsistent from the free throw line. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. is checked in. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. Well, you look at Young, and it's him all alone atop the voting. It's pretty much a done deal that he'll be showing off his long-range skills in the three-point contest. Yep, and, and he's going to be scary to have to go up against if he's on that day. Nobody can shoot it like he can when he gets in a groove. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent precision and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Here's Van Vliet after the made shot from John Collins. That's good and the Atlanta lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Van Vliet. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half guys and, and it's paid off. Now here is Young. 18 points for him. Count it good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The pass to Harris. Back to Van Vliet. Outside Portis. Back to Van Vliet. From deep three-point range, Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. And Collins is right there. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Now here's Van Vliet. 16 points for him. And it's Harris off the drive. To the wing right side. Portis finds Barrett. New York moving it around. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. Here's Young. The Knicks pull it in. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. They had active hands on the defensive end, and it paid off. A lot of easy baskets and transitions because of that. The shot's good. Young's got the lead up to 12 now for the Hawks. He does a good job of making quick reads and quick decisions off ball screens. Young always looking under control. Now here's Van Vliet. 
18 points for him. Count it. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Pass to Carmelo. Outside, Jones. And Anthony with the basket on the assist by Jones. Anthony's got 10. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. Barrett, no good. The Hawks leading by 12. Reddish with the ball. Picked up by Portis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Atlanta, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. Cam Reddish. Two shots. That free throw good from Reddish. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. The Atlanta making some changes. Moutier comes in for Collins. And Berea subbed in for Young. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Watching Cam Reddish, I see all-star level potential. It's going to be interesting to track his development because he's still establishing his identity. Now here's Van Vliet. 20 points for him. Takes the 13-footer. Harris misses. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. That's his second first. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Rudio. Here's Van Vliet. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. to Barrett over Moutier and that would have counted but his uh, shot was off the mark this time a dominating first half of basketball and so far hasn't been close Hawks lead by 16 and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside David thanks Kevin Trey you've made it look easy so far how have you been able to pick them apart uh, I'm just taking what the defense is giving me uh, open driving lanes uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open, uh, pick and roll, things like that. We just got to continue to do it and uh, try to get this the win. Make them pick their poison, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what a show being put on here for the home fans tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 22 points and five assists. It's been quite a night so far for him. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Hawks? Clearly, this game is all about ice Trey. This guy's confidence is incredible. When he gets into a rhythm, he takes over again. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O-D-A. Over. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, Goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. 
Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young and Herter make up the back, and it's Capella in at the five spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now here's Van Vliet. Outside for Robinson, shot clock at five. Goes up on the win. It's rebounded by Herter. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Capella, the pass to Hunter. Moves back up, and it's laid up and in by Young. Young's got four points now in the quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And the amount of pressure that Trey Young puts on a defense is staggering. He's either carving you up with his passing or hitting you with that jump shot. You know, G.A. Trey Young is the type of player that can lead this league in scoring and in assists. And also, possibly could do it in the same season. For a youngster, he sees a lot of double teams. It's impressive how he handles it. Now, here's Hunter. Mitchell Robinson unable to get his last shot to go in. Here's Herter. Barrett covering. Capella, the pass to Herter. Collins kicks to Hunter. That's tipped. Stolen by Robinson. And now the Knicks on the break. Barrett, wide open. He fires. Trains it from beyond the arc. Barrett's got five. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Now, here's Hunter. He's tightly guarded. Passes to Young. Six on the shot clock. From past the arc. Up the wide by Atlanta. Chalk up two there. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 20. Here's Knox. Back to Barrett. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And that's now seven points for R.J. Barrett. And there's the pass to Young. Randall with some nice deep. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. This is his first free throw of the game. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. First free throw is good. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep Improve it. The Knicks making a switch here. Progic has checked in. And so he hits both. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected and respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint, and we don't want to have things escalate. There's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. Here's Barrett following the basket by Trey Young. Here's Knox. And he overshot that one, missing. The Hawks leading by 17. Young with no one around. Hands it from downtown. Young's got nine points here in the second half. The Knicks have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Outside Robinson, pass to Randall. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. 
and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Rogic against Young. Rogic kicks to Robinson. Here's Barrett. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Outside Cowan. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Outside Dragic. Back to Knox. To end the run, and he sinks the layup. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. Inside, Herter. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Rockets the pass to Robinson. Here's Randall. He's guarded by Collins. Collins with some nice D. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. And the dunk by Capella. That's next level vision. Young could probably lead the league in assists if that were his goal. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for Collins. Reddish comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Emmanuel Moutier has checked in for Kevin Herter. And Berea subbed in for Trey Young. The Knicks also changing it up. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Robinson. Bobby Portis comes in for Randall. And Harris subbed in for R.J. Barrett. Here's Reddish. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And it's Harris off the drive. That shot missing. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm -hmm. Count that one. Cabello's got eight points. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now here's Dragic stop the run and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line first foul. strange to see Marcus Saul shooting from outside his game Greg wasn't always like it is now I mean he's Gasol has added a three to his game in the last seasons with Memphis and it was an immediate success he became a functioning stretch five early in his career he was more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else that free throw, no good. One of the best all-around bigs in the league. Gasol continues to modernize his game. And he sinks the second. Atlanta's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Moutier with the ball. 
Gasol covering. Gasol with those long arms is a shot blocking expert, especially down low. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. The Knicks have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Damian Jones is jacked in for the Hawks. One shot. One shot. Free throw drops for Goran Dragic. Atlanta's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Moutier dishes to Jones. Kicks it to Reddish. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Knicks shooting is leaving some to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Hawk shooting in the third quarter has been brilliant up around 58%. Back to Berea. Harris against Moutier. He can't get that one. Some solid defense from Gasol. Outside Dragic. Pass to Gasol. Over Jones. Gasol no good. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Morea, no good. The Knicks shooting around 41% on the night. Dragic left side. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Assisted. And that's 15 points for Goran Dragic. And we see this a lot with Goran, using his size and craftiness to finish inside. Here's Moutier. Misses off the right iron. Guys, if they're going to make a run, no time like the present. Yeah, and it's certainly we had to expect a better game than this. Been very ugly thus far. Here's Knox, and he makes good on the layup. Knox has got four points now in the quarter. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. Now here's Dragic following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Berea. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. And it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Dragic, and Jones sends it back, but he gets it back. Dragic, the pass to Gasol, tries again, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. You don't want to foul him. One of the better free throw centers in the game, Mark Gasol gets it done. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Free throw drops for Gasol. So for the Hawks. Hunters checked in for Reddish. And Kevin Herter subbed in for J.J. Barea. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Knicks. And so Mark Gasol nails both of them. The Hawks leading by 19. Moutier finds Anthony to end the cold streak. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Moutier's got four assists in the game. Here's Trogic. Rebound Atlanta. Four on three break. And Herter gets it to go. Herter's got six here in this quarter. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Moutier. And the layup's good off the glass. Moutier's got six. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And so it's Atlanta in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We come back right after this.
And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Hey. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And New York, looking at who they've got, Barrett Knotts are the wingmen. Mark Gasol is out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. Great look by Portis. For a young player, he really understands what they're trying to do. Deep two from Anthony. Offensive rebound, Jones. And Jones slams it in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Knox, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. He's heady. He's unselfish. All Van Fleet does is make winning plays. And the shot goes down. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Atlanta leading by 23. Moutier looking around. Pass to Jones. Barrett brings the double team. Puts it up from 17. And he buries that one. Trilling the rim on the way down. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Knox, defended by Moutier. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, you hear about the extinction of great NBA big men. Do you see it that way? And if so, Greg, is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position that has changed? You know, you think back to the likes of Russell, Wilt, Kareem, and Hakeem, and Robinson, and Shaq. You know, some would say, well, we just got lucky. But... In a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis. Yep. You look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and the way he plays the game. I mean, LeBron, in essence, is a big man. I mean, you still can dominate the game as a big. It's just that you now can actually, in some respects, have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Collins comes in for Bruno Fernando. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Reddish. Young is subbed in for Brown. And then for New York, Randall's checked in for Achua. Barrett comes in for Frank Nilikina. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Dennis Smith. Some nice passing by New York here. Five on the clock. Robbed up there for Robinson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Young's shot is good. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Van Vliet passes to Knox. Rebound Atlanta. Hunter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Moutier, no good. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And Barrett gets it to go. Can't allow Barrett that kind of positioning. He's just too skilled at finishing, even when you try to get physical with him. And Young kicks to Hunter. Outside Cohen. The pass to Hunter. Now here's Moutier. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. To the inside. And Barrett with the basket on the assist from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got five assists in the game. Young passes to Collins. Stolen by Van Vliet. Down low. And Randall throws it down. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. 
Young is double. Moutier dishes to Capella. Hunter, no one around him. The Hawks again can't hit. Knicks trail by 18. Here's Van Vliet. Makes it off the glass. Van Vliet's got 24 points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix time it. Out, they out. keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Here's Young. And hustle like that is why he leads this team in rebounds tonight. Controlling the glass helps them maximize their number of possessions. He's done everything he can do to help them in that area. And Robinson throws it down hard. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. He has adapted a way to use his body to shield defenders. That's bigger than him. Trey Young finishing through contact. Yep, it counts. Van Vliet's got 26. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Young with the ball. Picked up by Van Vliet.
Bounce pass Young, and the dunk by Capella. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 13 rebounds. And how about his athleticism for a big man? Capella is able to make plays above the rim. Pass to Randall. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. And it's 13 points for Julius Randall. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside two. as well as outside. And that one falls for Collins. And, and Collins said so himself. He, he believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, G.A.? I love the confidence from him. And you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. Both good from the line that time. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Here's Knox. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Moutier kicks to Young. Lays it up off the glass. Young's got 37. With that tight handle, Trey Young can get anywhere on the court he wants to go. Here's Barrett. Rebound by the Hawks. Young taking his time here. Kicks it out to Collins. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Knicks. Trailing by 19. Randall no good. Atlanta's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Young. Randall grabs the board. The Knicks shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Here's Barrett. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Emmanuel Moutier picks one up. The energy Barrett plays what puts defenders on their heels. He, he's really good at forcing the opposition's hand. Under six. He misses the free throw. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Moutier. Second free throw, no good. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Herter passes to Young. Launches a three. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Van Vliet kicks to Barrett. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Barrett's got seven points here in this quarter. Here's Herter. Young from outside sinks the triple. Young's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for Atlanta. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. 
Van Vliet looking around. He kicks to Barrett. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. Pass to Barrett. Fires from deep. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Hunter, the pass to Collins. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Randall, no good. The Hawks leading by 22. Outside, Cohen. This is DeYoung. Takes the 13-footer, and it's good off the back rim and in. Young's got 45 points. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, you'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Ray, compare the times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact and a lot was let go on the floor to what we're seeing now when there seem to be a lot of whistles, a lot of stoppage of play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You, you know, you got to allow players to defend. Take a break. Take and if a break. they're in a legal guarding position, let them do their job. You know, eliminate the cheap ones. Part of the issue, though, partner, is now so much of the game is played on an island, right? You, yep. you don't have the crowds that you typically would see guys in back in our There's more space. The court, in that sense, is bigger. Uh, you're out there kind of on your own, man. And these guys are crafty at drawing fouls. It's never been harder for a defender. And so Collins nails both of them. Impeccable from the line since halftime. New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Van Vliet against Young. Here's Randall. The baseline jumper goes down. Randall's got six here in this quarter. That's the maturity of Randall's game now. Not trying to force things, just pops it in and moves on to the next play. Capella against Robinson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Down the stretch of last season, Greg, we saw some teams resting healthy players, even ones out of the playoff hunt. And they got fined, but is the, the amount, which I think is about 25,000, is two, that two. enough to discourage that tactic? You know, I don't think it is. Uh, not when team revenues are measured in the hundreds of millions. Uh, you got to do more to keep them honest, but by the same token, you know, if I got 100, 200 million invested in a guy, I want to protect my investment. And so mm -hmm. if I can rest them here or there and prolong their career, I, I think my organization's all the better for it. All free throws, good from Capella. And so it's New York with it. Passes it to Van Vliet. Let's a floater go. Rebound by the Hawks. Herder's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Young finds Capella. And here is Hunter. Some solid defense from Robinson. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. And Barrett gets it to go. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Hawks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win That's across great. the board to deliver out uh, this ball. kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Trey Young. 
you have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. Now the pass to Herter. Lock at six. Deadman kicks to Berea. Pass to Fernando. Here's Herter. Another shot. They shoot again. Shots good by Deadman. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Cam Reddish. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And he makes that one. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. I mean, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.